Um. Hey, what's going on? Uh, Adest here. I just uh, I just want to talk about something real quick, and this this is currently happening right now to me, and it it fucking it sucks, man. And I have no one to blame but myself for this, and I just I'm. Oh, I I just feel like garbage right now because of it, and be, before you guys make any you know any ideas, come up with anything, it's not what you think it is. There's just I made a stupid mistake, and you know I just want to talk to you guys about it real quick because I'm just so mad at myself for it, and yeah. So long story short, I've mentioned this. I always mention like me being 18 or whatever or making music like what well, feels like every time I try to make one of these videos so I, I make music and there's one thing that I've always wanted to get my hands on when making music and that's a plugin called Antares um, autotune it's probably one of the best plugins you can get for autotune a lot of people shit on autotune say oh people who use it are just untalented but Believe it or not, it's it's a really useful plugin, and for someone who like me who does struggle to sing or try and get that right note, I, I personally like to use it. And I've always tried to use plugins around it, and it just never works out. You know, they they always don't do what I want them to do, and they're just not good. So that being said, I tried to get a cracked version of the plugin. Now, if you don't know what it, what a cracked version or something that's like cracked it's pretty much you, you the software is there for you. you you take the file you download it they give you like a password for like a document to unlock it or w whatever it is and you pretty much get the plugin for free and you get like a little like a uh, code little uh, activation code for the product but every time you do it, every time you go to install it or whatever, it doesn't show up. You can't access it and it's just there. Now, if you can't tell what I'm leading to, it's pretty much I downloaded at least three or four of these and they never worked. Now, knowing me, I am very, very cautious about the shit I download. But that, that one night I decided to get these softwares is the night I just, I was being so idiotic. I downloaded, like I said, like three or four of these softwares try and get a plugin that you know realistically i probably could have just waited to save up for but i didn't and what ended up happening was i'm pretty sure my computer got tons and tons of malware on it and i got hacked leading up to that a couple situations happened um my instagram got hacked and what the hack was was someone going onto my account and they spammed or not spammed but they put a post on my Instagram about like Bitcoin scam like a kind of like thing where it's like involving Elon Musk or whatever they put a link in my description of my Instagram and like my bio and they posted a story on my account I had no control over it I didn't know what happened and it was there for a solid three or four hours and I never noticed it happened because they were posting it, it wasn't like something I could tell that was posted. Because I'm not always on my Instagram, you know. I go on there once or twice a day sometimes. The next event was today. It actually happened today. Um, I got on, me and my friend were playing some Valorant. And then eventually we're like, oh, no, we, uh, do you want to play? He was asking, hey, do you want to play Hunt or do you want to play um, uh, Hell at Loose? Two, two games we have on Steam. So I was like, you know what? Yeah, I'll, I'll play some I'll play some Hunt or whatever. And so I click on my Steam. And I see the screen. And the screen is me not signed in. I, it just shows my username. And I was like, oh, that's weird. It must have signed me out. That's fine. So I got to put my password. And I know my password. You know, I, I try and keep all my passwords in mind. Um, I keep all my passwords similar but different so it's not easy to necessarily crack but enough to you know remember it while still keeping a, you know a difference in between them all and so I go to put in my password and it says incorrect password or yeah incorrect password I was like 
okay, maybe it was the wrong one. So I have, you know, I sign into my Steam online and, you know, my browser saves those passwords. So I was like, okay, maybe if I go into my browser, find my passwords and I find it, I was like, oh, you know, what? it was the wrong password. Let me type this in instead. Lo and behold, it wasn't there. It wasn't, or it was the wrong password again. So now I'm freaking out. I'm like, okay, I, I don't know what to do because I, these are the passwords. I can't take away anything else. So now I'm freaking out. Like I said, and I, I do some more digging up and something you can do is if you put in, a a, um, a email. Like if you're trying to recover your account, you can put in an email that might be associated with that account, but it's hard to explain. Pretty much I put in an email that wasn't associated with any accounts and then I reversed it by looking up my username to see what email was associated with my main account, my main Steam account, if that makes sense. And what happened was there was an email that wasn't even like an actual email. It was, it had like an email likeness to it. But it was like one word at a huge another word and then i think like dot r something and it was like not even an email that anyone would use there was no gmail there there was no it was it was crazy it was even like an actual email so i was like okay so someone just stole my account and now i'm thinking okay well you know maybe i can get this fixed but i'm still freaking out a little i don't know what to do Eventually, I'm like, oh, okay, um, well, maybe I should start changing other passwords because I start thinking to myself, okay, maybe it is that cracked software I try to get for the plugin, for that uh, auto-tune plugin. Maybe, you know, it was an issue with that. So I was like, okay, maybe if I start resetting all my passwords, writing them down, we'll be good. So I did that. And then I get to my Microsoft account. What do you think I'm going to say next? Exactly. It got hacked. So now... I have two accounts that have been hacked my my steam account and my microsoft account my two biggest accounts that i need pretty much on a daily basis now i'm on a windows pc which means my microsoft account is running my pc pretty much i can't sign out of it it won't let me sign out unless there is a way pretty much once you sign into your microsoft account on your pc you can't sign out of it. So I was like, okay, if I just sign out of it, maybe they can't get into everything else. But I couldn't do that. So now I'm sitting here like, okay, maybe if I switch the account with a different Microsoft account, we'll be good. Still didn't work. So once again, I'm like, okay, great, great. Thanks for adding insult to injury. I have two accounts hacked and I don't know what to do. Now, um, I'm still focused on my Steam account. I'm like, okay, screw that. I'll worry about that later. And I, then I moved back to my Steam account, and I and I finally, um, I finally set up a, a a ticket for getting my account recovered. It's currently pending. I don't know when I'm gonna get response. It's been a few hours now. I posted it around five o'clock. It's currently eight o'clock for me right now, and I'm just waiting for it. You know, I'm trying to be patient. I don't want to wait too long, and you know what? That's fine. I've had this happen to me before, you know, accounts get hacked, it is what it is, but something about this one feels very detrimental. Something about this specific hack feels detrimental because I feels like it was a cause of me being irresponsible and being idiotic. And I'm telling you guys right now, don't do what I did. I know most of y'all are probably smarter than me anyway and won't do it, but for the sake of it, I'm going to tell y'all this right now, right now, like, like, and I mean this. No matter how desperate you are, I, I, and I can get it. When, when you have a, a strain of motivation, but also defeat, you want to try and do what you can to make it far ahead. So you do what you can to get what you want, but you do it in a way that's like nonsensible. It's an idiotic way to do it. And then in the end, it, it fucks you over. It, it completely screws you over and eventually will lead up to getting screwed over even more. So, if you are trying to get something, and it's sketchy as hell, don't do it. Because I did it. Three times. And it has fucked me over. Guys, please don't do what I did. Specifically, with this situation. 
If you are looking to get a plugin for Auto-Tune, especially the Ontario's ones, just, you know, get the free trial, at least. I didn't even do that. I should have gotten the free trial, but I didn't. And, you know, it required a credit card, and I didn't have one on me. Uh, I have yet to set up my bank account. Um, I was going to ask my mom, but I was like, you know what? I don't want her to deal with that. So, I just, you know, I said, screw it. I'm going to get a cracked version. And now I'm sitting here just really just feeling like garbage and it sucks it really does and once again i know people get hacked all the time but something about this one feels bad because right next to me is my computer and in that computer right now is sitting probably tons of malware on that on my hard drive and has spread it throughout my computer by now which means the years i saved up for getting that pc that PC is probably gone, for, a dud now. It will probably eventually just all get screwed over. Not only that, but there is a huge chance that any file I needed ever will probably get removed. Any channel I've ever made, the three channels I have, will probably get bombarded with garbage content. We'll see. I don't know. I'm trying to fix it. I swear. But... It's just I, I've lost hope right now. My mental health is slowly uh, declining because of all this. Because I have worked hard to get where I'm at right now. And I know it doesn't look like I'm much to my name when it comes to this YouTube stuff. But I've, I've spent years doing this. And for something like this to get in the way, it hurts. It really hurts. And I would hate to have to restart it all over again. <sighs> so guys, please don't make my mistake be be careful if it's not legit don't deal with it don't don't associate with it unless there is actual legitimate people behind it or a legitimate company company behind it don't deal with it screw off get away from it cuz you'll end up in my position and this position sucks i've sat here for hours on hours waiting to get my my account fixed and I'm, and I'm trying to be patient about it, but I, I'm worried. I'm worried I'm going to lose everything like that. I don't know if that's right. Good enough. <laughs> you know my point. I feel like I've just lost everything. My world has crumbled. My mental health is declining. All because I wanted to download a sketchy version of a plugin for something I don't even really need, you know? So, or I could have gotten a trial for. So, yeah, guys, be careful out there. The, the internet is a piece of garbage when it comes to hackers. And if you're a hacker yourself and you do shit like this where you mess up people's lives and try and steal their identities, I hope, and I, I swear to God, I hope, I, you know, I'm not even going to say anything because that will just make me as bad as them. You know, screw screw hackers, guys. If you're someone who steals people's identities, you're a piece of human garbage, and you deserve any sort of bad thing that happens to you. See you guys later.